Greetings, I'm Rebecca Carner, Biofield Tuner, and this video is going to be explaining the opening protocols for all sessions that I do. So in Biofield Tuning, I have another video wherein I explain the nature of the biofield as expressed through this mini slinky. And at the beginning of absolutely every session, whether I work on one person or 50 people or 350 people, um, I always start by, I use the words activating, the Earth Star Chakra and the Sun Star Chakra. These are words that were taught to me. Um, in many ways, I consider them arbitrary in that uh, I'm, I'm not sure how many ancient uh, methods or traditions called it Earth Star and Sun Star. I think there are some. And sometimes when you use the word chakra at all, you sort of lose a fair amount of people <laughs> thinking that it's, uh, again, some sort of belief system. And what I am aiming to do in this video is sort of show the electro and electromagnetic nuts and bolts of how I understand the work that I do to sort of demystify it and to make it as concrete and visually understandable as possible. So in my previous video wherein I described the human biofield uh, not like an aura or an egg or a bubble or a pod, but in fact a bi-directionally turning donut that is the electromagnetic periphery that is con constantly being transmitted by our electrically charged meat suit as represented by this AAA battery. So at the beginning of every session, biofield tuning session that I do, I activate what in effect is the larger representation and functionality of the back of a TV remote. <laughs> So when I activate the Earth Star Chakra, so I have a client lay on my treatment table and I will go just a few inches underneath their feet and I will start activating my fork and I will find their chakra, their energy center, which is another name for chakra, just below their feet. So if you imagine that a human is represented by this AAA battery, the Earth Star Chakra is the, is the bottom port of that. It is the negatively charged, not negative energy, but just positive and negative like ions, electrons, protons, that sort of thing. It's the negatively charged port. And <laughs> In the back of a remote, it is often uh, mechanically expressed through the little spring that you put the bottom of the remote into, and then you click the little top nibby part of the thing into the, and there's usually just some sort of like electrical node up at the top of there, and you can kind of see when the little nib hits the top, and that's how you know that you've successfully installed your battery in the back of your remote. Well, as humans, when we get ready to do a tuning, we want to sort of safely house the energetic system in such a way that it can be charging and it can be held appropriately while we're doing the work. And so that and then also, because we are working with electricity, we also want to provide a grounding um, so that any, any charge, any spark, any, anything that gets worked out and sort of smoothed out during the course of the session, that it has some sort of grounding place to go so that it can discharge so that it doesn't have to be carried in the field anymore. Um, so when I start activating, 
uh, the Earth Star Chakra, which is the negative port at the bottom, just below the feet, I'll activate the fork and I will hold it just a few inches from my client's feet. And that starts to activate the electrical registry of the body. It literally, when you start to activate a fork in the Earth Star Chakra, what it does is it starts to strengthen the ascending current right from the bottom. So I, these little um, these little tabs that are representing the directional pull of the spin of the toroid here. So if so, when I activate the fork, I hold it just under my client's feet, and I'm activating the negative port of the Earth Star Chakra, and that's going to start the uptake, the updraft of energy um, to go from then the feet through the central channel of the body and then up and out the top crown of the head and then it cycles back around on the outside of the body, comes back up through the feet, up through the central channel of the body, up and around, up and around. So as I ping the fork, ping the fork, activate the body, the bottom of the, of the earth star chakra, that starts the updraw of energy so that you can start effectively getting charged <clears throat> from the earth, quite literally, from the electrical eminence of the earth, and it goes up through your system. Now, conversely, then, once I get the earth star activated on the client, I will go to the top of the head, just above the crown chakra to the sun star chakra. Again, might be a slightly arbitrary name, but it is the energy point again, just like in the back of your remote, where the top of the battery goes in the top because you have to be clicked into both to either recharge or to um, give your juice to power, to for the battery to effectively power the remote. It has to have connections on both things, but that also works in the same way. So in, in the remote case, the battery is in fact <laughs> leaking out energy to the remote to, to power it. But when you get charged with energy, any kind of energy work, or and specifically with biofield tuning, you're in fact recharging yourself. But you, in that same way, you have to be properly make contact with each of these energy ports so that you can recharge yourself. Um, <clears throat> so after I fin after I activate the Earth Star, I always start with the lowest point the earth star and then I go up to the sun star. So again, then I ping my fork and I start working a few inches above my client's head. And that then, as represented by the slinky toroid, right, I will activate then the top, thus really igniting and activating and strengthening then the descending current, right? So notice the little tabs of that show the motion of the spin are up. And so they will then go down through the crown of the head, through the central channel of the body, circle back around, blah, blah, doo, doo. So it's going down and around out to the edge of the field and then down again. And there are then any number of techniques and protocols from this sort of starting point wherein you would then work with forks either on the actual human body or around the actual human body in the field. But this sort of activation of the earth star and the sun star chakra are so foundational and fundamental and oftentimes depending on what's needed by the client i will spend over half of any given session just getting the ground that the the negative and the positive ports truly activated because when your energy system is fully and securely housed um, and connected with these ports, 
you can run energy and your experience of of the voltage that you are carrying whether it's optimum voltage for you or not if it's not properly housed if it's not sort of connected up you're certainly not going to get optimal um, health or, or vitality out of anything so this system, th this method, the biofield tuning method, among others, but the biofield tuning method always starts with this really fundamental activation and connection. And I, I really wanted to make, again, a fairly succinct video that explained it. And I hope that this sort of helps people understand and conceptualize this work that is very concrete and based in measurable science, yet by its nature is also invisible to the naked eye. And I was hoping to debunk the theory that a lot of this work, that you have to believe in it for it to have effect on you, because that just really isn't the case at all. And so I hope these representations by fairly common household things uh, make the concepts behind this work more accept, uh, more accessible and more approachable to people. If you have any further questions or if you'd like to contact me, you can always reach me at RebeccaCarner.com. I hope this video helps. Thanks so much.